Zebediah Kilgrave the Purple Man is a pretty obscure Marvel villain who's only recently received mainstream notoriety because geek heartthrob David Tennant plays him in Jessica Jones on Netflix. Besides sharing a name with the bad guy from Five Nights at Freddy's though, I'm sure many people are asking, who the hell is this guy? Kilgrave was a Soviet spy who tried to steal an experimental nerve gas from the Americans. He was discovered and shot at, causing a gas canister to leak all over him, dyeing Kilgrave's skin purple. Once Kilgrave realized that this granted him the ability to make people do what he says and a healing factor, he took up the name Purple Man and began a life of crime. We actually know quite a bit regarding how Kilgrave's powers work. His skin produces a specialized pheromone that when inhaled or absorbed, makes the victim do whatever Purple Man commands them to do. Even stop breathing. The commands Kilgraves gives his victims are indistinguishable from their actual thoughts, making them want to carry out his will. However, as the subject moves away from Purple Man, they regain their free will as the pheromone is metabolized. The length of time that Kilgrave can have someone enthralled is indefinite, as long as they're in range of his pheromones. For example, he once used his power to seduce a beautiful woman for years, but he decided to free her from his control to see if she would love him for him and not, you know, the mind control. Mortified, she ran away to Canada and gave birth to their daughter, Kara Kilgrave, who would go on to become the hero Purple Woman. Kilgrave is a frequent adversary of Daredevil. In fact, his first appearance was in Daredevil number 4, all the way back in 1964. But it was retold in Daredevil Yellow, which is what I'll be referencing. Matt Murdock, who is secretly Daredevil, is assigned to be Purple Man's lawyer after he was arrested for robbing a bank. When Matt meets Kilgrave in a holding cell, Purple Man insists that he doesn't need a lawyer, and that he won't even go to trial. In fact, Kilgrave tells the guard to unlock the cell, and he just walks on out, taking Karen Page, Murdock's assistant, slash kind of girlfriend along with him. See, because of Daredevil's heightened senses, he's unaffected by Purple Man's pheromones. This usually means that once Daredevil gets through Kilgrave's henchmen, he takes his purple ass down rather quickly. However, in their first encounter, Daredevil is too wrapped up in dealing with mind-controlled police officers that Purple Man was able to escape with Karen to a hotel room. Daredevil was able to get there before Kilgrave could rape Karen, but Purple Man told her to jump off the building so he could get away. Thankfully, Daredevil was able to both save the girl and put Kilgrave behind bars. Another example of just how powerful his pheromones are is that he basically made Jessica Jones his slave for eight months. This whole time, Purple Man's life was just partying in a hotel room that he never paid for, eating expensive food, watching TV, mind-controlling college girls to have sex with him, and emotionally tormenting Jessica, making her bathe him, forcing her to watch him rape those aforementioned college girls, and he even sends her to go kill Daredevil. Despite being able to do all of this to a freaking superhero, Purple Man is still a street-level villain, and most of his crimes really aren't that significant or special. Kilgrave was last seen about a year ago when he gathered up all of his illegitimate children except for Purple Woman with the goal of finally receiving real unconditional love from them. Yet the Purple children together were strong enough to overpower their father and had him walk in front of a moving train. But hey, healing factor. Kilgrave survives and decides to exact revenge on his children by taking them down one by one, Assassin's Creed style. Until Daredevil saves the day, of course. I feel that Purple Man's powers are really freaking cool and that he could become a really prominent villain with more great storylines. But outside of ruining Jessica Jones' life, the only thing Kilgrave has done of real significance was get kidnapped by Doctor Doom, who amplified and exploited Purple Man's powers, to temporarily become Emperor of the World, in a graphic novel that may or may not be canon. If you want to read about Kilgrave for yourself, I'd recommend checking out Daredevil Yellow, Alias, and the Purple Children's storyline from the 2014 Daredevil run. That's issues 8 through 10. But hey, what other Daredevil villain do you want me to talk about? in the future, the Owl or the Kingpin. Click or comment to cast your vote. If you want to learn more about Jessica Jones, Purple Man's superpowered victim, then click on this video right here.